So what, what is, why are we here? Well, have you heard about this uh, amazing new online teacher called Khan Academy? Like, Khan! No, 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 it, it's not uh, Star Trek, although, uh, although I've heard it uh, uh, referred to as that. No, this is a, a guy who's putting on all this content online who's supposedly going to change education. Yes, my principal wants to do that. Oh, well, I figured we could take a look at one of these uh, videos um, you know, one of the things that I know my uh, middle school t uh, students used to really struggle with was this idea of multiplying and dividing ne negative numbers. And it really would have been a help for me if someone else had um, been able to uh, um, teach them. Yeah, I thought it was so that. hard. Yeah. So, yeah, especially, you know, why does it work? And so i got to imagine that a guy who's got this much of a following has to be able to, he, to present it. Wait, didn't Gates, like Bill Gates, give him millions of dollars yep. for this? And he was on TED Talk. Did you see the TED Talk that he gave? He gave a TED Talk? Yeah. So, so this is going to be amazing. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Cause it, just the, the innovation. It's like the best teaching millions of dollars can buy. Oh, well, Bill Gates calls him the, uh, the best teacher he's ever seen, so. So I, th I figured we have a lot that we can learn from this. Okay. All right. So let me get it started. Welcome to the presentation on multiplying and dividing negative numbers. Let's get started. Hopefully nice. you're going to find that multiplying and dividing negative numbers are a lot easier than it might look initially. Okay. Just remember a couple of rules, and I'm going to See, I told you to make it look easy. I'm going to give you more intuition on, on why these rules. First, let me just and why? He's going to do why? It took only eight and a half minutes. I teach for hours on this. I still don't get to it in eight, eight, eight minutes. Negative two times negative two. First, you just oh. look at each of the numbers as if there was no Yeah, difference. I usually wouldn't you choose the same number of times two. itself. Well, especially two, right? Because two times two is and the same as two, two plus two. 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 I think that might get confusing. That equals but, positive. So let's write that first rule down. Oh, you want negative plus four times a negative. Well, I think he said positive. I think you would make a mistake positive. like that. You know. Oh, negative times negative equals positive. He proved it. Negative no. two times positive two. Well, in this case, let's first of all look at the two numbers without sign. We know that two times two is four. So we ignore so his sign. Negative times a positive two. And it turns out that when you multiply a negative times a positive, you get a negative. Well, wait, he, but well, it doesn't have a sign. Negative. So sometimes he puts a sign, sometimes he doesn't put a sign. Does it matter? It's a negative. And what happens if you have... Well, if there's not wait, a wait, sign. Wait, wait, wait. Positive two. Times positive. Negative two. Oh. I think you probably guess why you have a master. You can tell that these two are pretty much the same thing by the, uh, what is it? I, I believe it's the, the transitive property. Uh, transitive property? I've been teaching that long all the time. Isn't that the commutative property? Times negative two is also well, he said commutative. Maybe I've been saying it wrong. I don't know what you Are those the same? You're not communicating if you're uh, communicative. Uh, also, neg. So you see, and, and actually these, these, these second two rules, they're kind of the same thing. Uh, negative times a positive is a negative, or positive times a negative is a negative. That's, I like the same things like the same. As, um, when the signs are different and you multiply the two numbers, you get a negative number. And of course, you already know what happens when you have a positive times a positive. Well, so you should point. start with the thing that's negative most confusing. Negative times a negative is a positive. And end with the thing they already know. Negative times a positive. Right. Is a I think I've been doing that back. I have too. I've always built on positive. what students know. See, I'm already I'm learning something. Huh? It's probably it takes me longer. A bit completely confused. Oh, oh. Maybe I can simplify it. I, I what? Where did all that work go? Well, I didn't take dozens in just one take, too. Same size. No way. This amount of polish in one take? You know, most times if there's something done in just one take, it gets mocked. What is D positive? Is that a blood type? D positive? I don't think so. Same size. Different size. Determine. Gets you a negative result. I think this would confuse students as well. Would be Are we just talking? I guess it says multiplying and dividing at the top. Yeah. One. And we know how. One. Oh, he's doing. See, it's the same number. But absolute value? Absolute value. So oh, those are one. He really ought to do a oh. handwriting uh, video, too. Or <laughs> See how uh, the bottom two problems? 
I have two different. I'm not sure he's qualified to teach handwriting, like he's qualified to teach math. Two problems. This, this one right here, both ones are positive, and this one right here, both ones are negative. But what about the other one? Now, and hopefully, it'll, it'll hit the point home. And that has three positive. And what happens? So same signs. If I've got, I don't, I'm really concerned because if I have a negative times a negative times a negative, are the students so going to take it positive? Negative. Because all the signs are the same. Yeah. Positive. Um, but when he gets to the Y over yeah, that's true. It's 12. Oh, so uh, we're advanced. And a positive. So Different the numbers. Signs. Different signs mean negative. Negative. So negative 4 times 3 is a negative 12. And that makes sense because we're essentially saying what's negative 4 times itself three times. Ah, uh, see, so we're getting to the Y. So negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4? No, no, no. On uh, adding and subtracting negative numbers. So add it. Watch that. Let me see. We should have watched that first. What if oh. I said minus two times minus seven? And you might so want to that's like negative two, two times negative times seven times. Sorry to see the answer is. Well, two times seven is fourteen. 14. And we have the same sign here. It's a positive fourteen. Normally, we wouldn't have to write the positive. For that. Oh, we don't have to write the positive. It's okay. Normal. Okay. What if I had? Let me think. Badges. <laughs> <laughs> Can you turn off our stinking badges? Well, 9 times 5 is 45. But once again, the signs are different. It's negative. And then, finally, what if I had... Any idea? <laughs> yeah, I know. We'll close up in the air. Minus 6 times... Oh, we was, were you on Khan Academy site before or YouTube? That's on Khan Academy. Oh, okay. Oh, I've totally lost track of where we are. Well, they, you know, one of the things they say, the good thing about this, is we can rewind it. I think that's how you want one, two badges. You might say that. Because I rewound it? Yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool how it shows on the bottom. Yeah. Okay. I think this is where we were at. Yeah. You know how to do it, and then you started to see. Oh, that's nice. I like that kind of pausing and seeing what we think. You think your students would pause? No. Same sign here. No. I thought, I'm not sure they'd be paying attention at this point. <laughs> but I can hope. Yeah. He, is, he is the best teacher. He never explained why that was, though, right? Like he has, he has, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, well, he did talk about the negative four or three times. Right. That's what Once again, the signs are different. Negative. Well, uh, transitivity. Finally, what if I had... Now, now. Minus six. Times. So he's thinking of good numbers. numbers. Well, six times what makes the other numbers bad? It's yeah. 66. Yeah. Do a better job yeah. of thinking yeah. about good and bad numbers. That looks so much like negative 6x minus 11. Zero times, times that handwriting sign. Negative 12. Well, you might say that the signs are different. So definitely but negative. Zero is actually neither positive nor negative. And zero uh -huh. times anything is still zero. It doesn't matter if the thing you multiply it by. This is a negative number or a positive number. Zero times anything is still zero. So is this one of the rules? Do I need another Let's rule? Let's see if we can uh, apply these same rules to division. Actually, turns well, out the special rules for when there's no sign. Uh, if I have nine you didn't write that down. divided by no. negative. How do you think he decides what he writes down and what he doesn't write? Well, first we say, well, what's I've heard in other cases he just comes up with stuff. And they have Good to have signs. What do you mean? Negative three. So different signs. <laughs> Negative. negative. 9 divided by negative 3 is equal to negative 3. What is minus 16 divided by I'm a little concerned that he, he switches back Once between again, 16 negative divided by 8 is 2, but the signs are different. Negative 16 divided by positive 8, that equals negative 2. Remember, different signs would get the same negative result. Minus before, negative later. What is Minus but see, this is like four. just saying the rule over and over again. Divided by. Well, applying the rule. Minus I mean, it's a little bit higher than uh, in Bloom's taxonomy, well, right? Than just knowing the rule. Divided by six is nine. And since both terms, the divisor and the dividend, are mm. both mm. negative, negative fifty-four. He's probably a little happy to know those words. Right. A little too happy. Signs result in positive. Positive. Uh, quotient in this in this example, we did. Orleans product. And let's do uh, let's do one more. Obviously zero divided by anything 
He does like zero. What's my expect? He covers the cases that don't fit his rules? Mm -hmm. That's undefined. Are they really his rules? What is? I guess so. They are his. He doesn't cite any references. Four divided by negative one. Well, four divided by one is four. But the signs are different. So it's negative. Oh, I can't wait to hear that. that was. Now what I want you to do is actually try uh, as many of these I think he's right now. multiplying and dividing negative numbers uh, as you can. And you click on hint and it'll remind you which rule to use. And if you think about if you, and, and Wait, so when they're doing the problem, it's going to tell them which one they are? these rules apply. Only if they ask for hands, too. Wait, oh, he said something about why. Rewind it, rewind it. Oh, yes. And even more interesting, what it means to multiply a negative. And he gets why in 30 seconds. And if you think about, if you, and, 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 and in your own time, you might want to actually think about why these rules apply and what it means. <laughs> in your own time? A negative number times a positive number. And even more interesting, what it means to multiply a negative number times a negative number. But uh, I think uh, at this point, uh, hopefully, you are ready to uh, to start doing some some problems. Uh, good luck. Oh. Does Bill Gates think he's the best teacher in America? That explains a lot about Windows. <laughs> <laughs>